Hi everybody, this is Katie Palacios, Instructional Designer in The Loft, and I wanted to share with you this Canvas Crawl Shell. Now this is a professional learning shell. Our students in this shell were faculty, probably some of you. Um, and still though, we wanted to include this as part of the Canvas Crawl, uh, maybe as a little teaser for those of you who haven't yet taken Refresh. Um, one of the roses, a rose, so a highlight, something that I like, that I think we're doing well in this course, um, is our homepage. I think we did a really good job with this homepage, um, specifically humanizing it with the pictures of the facilitators on the homepage. Um, I also think if you're looking at the CVC OEI course design rubric, I think this um, is a good example of A4 course navigation because we the content is easily um, navigable and it's it's easily determined by the user where to go next. So it's very clear that we wanted our participants to start at the orientation and that's um, a prominent link on the home page. So um, and not only that, but we have right up front ways for them to connect in the times and spaces um, with links to those in order to connect with Cara and Kelly who are facilitating this course. So I think that's a good example of A4 as well as A6 page level chunking because we really chunked it out. We used headers so it's all accessible, etc. So that was one rose of this canvas crawl shell. The, the other one I think is if you go into the orientation um, that we have um, we have it all chunked out. We start with objectives, which is another one of the criteria in the rubric. Um, the placement of objectives is A1, so starting your module uh, with the objectives. But also we used an analogy of hiking. So you see hiking graphics throughout. We have uh, landscape, um, mountains. We use, let me go back to the modules um, overview page. And we have warm up, explore, trail marker activity, a move to improve activity. So you can see we kind of use these, uh, this hiking analogy to provide some cohesion to the activities in this course. So I really, I like that aspect of refresh. Um, and that's something that we'll continue doing, I think in our other professional learning courses as well, is finding an analogy to kind of, um, you know, create some cohesion, create a theme, if you will, that then lends itself to graphics and a little bit of branding that we can use uh, for our communications uh, for the course. So, and then it was kind of cool too. I only copied week one into the Canvas crawl shell, but in subsequent weeks, we also had spaces for reflection where it was kind of like look back on the journey and where you've come from and where you're planning on going. So I think having this analogy also lent itself well to creating spaces for kind of resting, taking a break, and then also times for digging in and making progress as you, you know, made your way up the, up the hill um, on the hike. So anyway, um, that was one of the roses. So the homepage was a rose, this analogy of hiking and um, lending itself to, you know, course navigation was a rose. One thing that we're looking at, I guess you could call it a thorn, but we're looking at improving in this course is kind of more intentionally aligning the activities with our faculty evaluation domains and criteria. So that way, as participants complete some of these, let's say the move to improve activity, for example, which has them um, perform a course assessment related to orientation and welcoming. Okay, so we could look at our MESA evalu faculty evaluation criteria for coaching and rapport, for example, and kind of intentionally align those and say, hey, you could also use this work as you write your self-assessment on coaching and building rapport with students. So um, that way, as they're completing this work in our professional learning courses, they're also simultaneously working on their uh, per personal letter, their self-assessment letter for their um, faculty self-evaluation. So it kind of allows the one activity to serve two purposes and building that 
portfolio of evidence towards the faculty evaluation is going to help um, faculty save some time and also see more intentionally the link between this important work and how they can showcase that to their evaluation committee. So that's an area of improvement, not only for Refresh, but for other professional learning courses that we design in the future. That's all I have to share with you about this Canvas crawl course. If there's anything in here that caught your attention or you want to learn more about, feel free to email me. I did put my email address up in an announcement in this Canvas crawl shell. Um, hopefully I piqued your interest enough to sign up for Refresh next time it's offered or any of the other most cohorts um, or any professional learning offering that we offer here at Mesa. I look forward to seeing you and connecting with you in those spaces. Um, take good care.